Hey, how's it going? And today we're just exploring a 3D widget component blueprint in Unreal. And this is what it looks like here. If I hit play, it's pretty cool. It's a lot better than I think the text renderer, because I think the graphics on here look a lot cooler. It just looks a lot. I don't know. I've not, it looks so much better than the text renderer. And this is on the widget blueprint. So that's super cool. Super cool. Really cool, actually. So I'll show you how to do this in just a minute. It's really pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're just going to right click and we're going to create a user widget blueprint. I'm going to do this a little differently than I normally do because I'm not going to drag a canvas panel on the screen. I'm just going to get some text. And I'm just going to drag it on the screen. And there's just some settings, say 3D widget in capital letters and let's see what we're going to do we're going to increase the font size pretty big here and the thing that's cool is this shadow color i don't know if people take advantage of this enough but it, it's colored black but the alpha is zero so it's not going to show and you have to change it to one and then you just need some offset here so you can see it so it's like we'll go three and four something like that and if we zoom in you can see it it's hard to see on the screen, but there's you can see it's offsetting there. And that's what's going to give it the 3D look. And you could actually change this from Roboto, you know, to whatever font you want to import. And then what we can do is we can center this if we want. We can change the color on this if we want. Something like that. Maybe some crazy color like that. And then on, instead of fill screen, we can just go desired. And then there's that. So it's not, it's not even really going to have any controls on it. It's just going to be text. And then we'll just go compile and save. Now note that this is called new widget blueprint. So then all we have to do is come in here and go into blueprint class, actor class, and we'll just leave this called new blueprint. And if we come up to add, we can actually add the widget here, widget there and it's in there now it's small but you can't really see it select on widget it's already got the right material on there and all we need to do is under widget class assign it to our new widget blueprint now notice it's not drawing the whole scene that we need so we need to make the draw size bigger so we'll make this a thousand that's not big enough maybe two thousand i guess i made it bigger than usual and it's right on the access point. And then that is it. And then if I come into here and I drag it, I should be able, oh, not the, the blueprint class. Look at this. I just spin it around. Look at that. I can come back in here into the new widget blueprint. I think there's an option here to Let's see, um, I want to say under transform, there's an option to, to share it a little bit, just something a little different. And if I hit play, look at how that pops. That is so cool. Let me bring that down a little bit lower. Anyway, so if you wanted to add some cool graphics to your game, this would be a way to do it. That looks so good. It looks really good. And what's cool is you can go, your player can go right through it. That is amazing. Every day learning something new. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. I can even, if I just go, let's see me do control L and just change the lighting a little bit. Let me go out of play. Control L. It'll, I think it'll look better, even darker. I think you can even control that material, but it just really pops from the scene. It, see that it has a nice emissive quality to it. So anyway, that's all I had for today. I hope you found it helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.